<laughs> okay, let's do that. All right, guys. Hi, welcome to today's video. We're doing something totally different. This is crafting, crafting with Chrome. We're gonna call this Chrome's Craft Corner. Yeah, none of that, none of that just goes right together, does it? Me crafting, making, what is happening in today's video? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Does this look familiar to any of you? Does it? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, maybe. If it does, this is that Lucy Light lamp that was hanging in that most beautiful ProMaster solo female, whatever. Van Life or whatever. I the Van Tour. I'll link it at the, van life <laughs> the ger geriatric Van Life. Okay, so this was hanging in the back of her van and it had this like, just this pretty glow to it. And everybody was like, how did she make that? So today, she messaged me after reading all of her comments and she's like, you know what? Let's make a tutorial video on how to make we're crafting These today. people are so nice. They had such lovely comments. So let's do that. So let's get crafting. <laughs> I will input the pictures of this lamp from her van tour. Okay, so breaking this thing down, these are the little Lucy lights that she has slid down inside of these. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a table mat. This nice little pretty thing for the festive season with all your leaves and stuff on it. It's what you put your dinner plate on and your cups and your for beer your turkey dinner. and your wine and your, maybe you just might have wine for dinner. I don't know, but anyway, you can buy these at the dollar store, I'm sure in any sort of pattern. And there's others on the internet and it doesn't have to be the one from the dollar. This one's from, I don't know, a store that, I found them on Mount Royal Avenue. You know that long street that I said it was cool and you saw lots of graffiti? Yeah. The yeah. first one, that's the street, Mont Royal. <laughs> <laughs> so, and inside of here are the, these Lucy lights. And if you don't know what the Lucy light is, this thing, if you take the air out of it, you can squish it down flat. They have LED lights inside of it and it charges by solar. So you can throw this on the dashboard of your van. These are super, super cheap on Amazon. You can probably pick these up other places too, but I'll throw the Amazon links to these in the description of my video. I used to have these when I first got my van because they were great light sources. I didn't like the whole inflatable part, so I actually cut my inflatable part off. But <laughs> for this craft, you're gonna inflate them and then you're gonna take these mats and you're gonna stick them over top. So I'll let her do all the sewing. She's doing some stuff right now, but pretty much it's as easy as this. You take this, you wrap it around it, a la kabam, you got a lamp. She's sewing one up right now, but it was as easy as this. You take your table mat, put your Lucy light in the middle and you roll it up. I measured it. And you roll it up like a hot dog and boom, now you got yourself a Lucy light taco. It's exactly that. It's a Lucy Light taco. <laughs> right? Simple as that. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. And if you know how to use a needle and thread, you can do what she's doing. I myself would probably just use duct tape. That probably wouldn't be very pretty now, would it? I don't think it would work, actually. <laughs> it's not because it wouldn't work. I, try, I was thinking of doing it with other material, but you need to sew it. It needs to be completely sewed together. Because you're not going to undo it ever, that part. Whoops and it gets stuck in what it, it's really, it's good that it's red because the last time when I poked myself on that white, white one, I got to, re, I had to remove the blood from it. There's blood somewhere on it. I kept poking my, my, my fingers.
This is from the dollar store too. It's an elastic band, very ordinary. So I'm gonna put it like this. And what I wanna do is, I wanted to do this. Not outside, but inside. So I know that I have to cut about here. So I'm gonna take the real scissors and cut about here. There. And we're gonna start it where there's that fold that we did underneath. And I have to do another tread. <laughs> I can do simple things, cushions, curtains, you know, the stuff that you need in a van that's with fabric. I'm, I can do that. It feels really that it's hang because it's gonna hold the Lucy light, the weight of the Lucy light. So that part, it has to be solid. Like if you're gonna, it's not gonna open, but you know that long one it's it's gonna stay like that but that is holding the weight of the lucy light from the top and from the bottom and that's enough it's just to show you so so you just pull it in like that there it's gonna hang okay you have to make it nice and you take that one and you pull it like this. All right, there we go. One finished and complete Lucy light. This thing is awesome. And I can't show you what it looks like in the dark because clearly guys, it's not really dark outside, but um, I'll input what this one looks like in her van when we did her van tour. It's just, it's got an amazing little glow, super simple, no electricity needed. Everything runs off of solar pretty good and she sewed this whole back section down so if you're not one to know how to use a needle and thread you could use safety pins and just safety pin this entire project yeah so simple so easy we could... <laughs> hopefully this kind of helped you guys out i'm not one and big to do tutorial style videos but these are pretty simple there was no cutting involved in the mat these tablecloth mats fit exactly the circumference of the lucy light so let's look at this lucy light for a second with the solar panel on the bottom it's got a power plug on the bottom so it's got a few different light settings so when you put it inside of here you point it down on this one and you point the bottom one upwards so the light just glows within this and these lucy lights are pretty great and during the day, you just pop these on the dashboard of your van, let the sun add some electricity to it, and boom, you've got power. So now that you've seen how the ladies put it together, because I don't know very many dudes that know how to use a needle and thread, so I thought we would take and put an addition to this Crafting with Chrome video and show you guys how Chrome would make one of these El Man style. The only thing you're gonna need to do at Chrome's Way is you're gonna need one table mat, two Lucy lights, two pieces of elast elastic, elast elastic, 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 and you not measured, just about yay big, and one stapler. Yeah. So if you guys have ever ripped a piece of clothing, I'm talking to you guys, we all know that when something rips, you just fold it, staple it from the inside, nobody has to see the staples. It works. So all we're gonna do here, see this gets wrapped around and you just staple it. So we're gonna grab this, we're gonna roll it, and we're gonna staple it. <laughs> ah, boom, done. All right, let's get the other side done. Let this off. And you can use a safety pin in the middle. No, I'm gonna staple the middle, you want. Okay. All right. You're gonna roll the other side. You're gonna staple it. Then on the inside here, we're just gonna run the stapler through one of these holes. And if you have to rip it bigger, guys, it's all good. Whatever it takes to get it in there. <laughs> we're dudes, things don't have to be perfect. And if the ladies are, if I got this, she's trying to get her hands in on my project. This is a man project. All right, so then just slide these in the holes here and you'll punch, punch a staple through it. 
And it don't matter if it looks like that because you just, <laughs> you put this to the back of the bus. You know what I'm saying? So now you take the Lucy light and look at, see it fits. No different than her project, but we didn't have to sew anything though, <laughs> did we? Okay, and if you're concerned if this is gonna fall apart, you just punch in a few extras. So far, this has cost me nothing, see? <laughs> You tell the girls what they want, they bring you the supplies and we just get it done. Now we need a way to hold the Lucy lights in. So this goes in here. And look, see, I'm gonna do it with my eyes shut. Maybe, you close your eyes, you stick it in there, you just staple a couple times and you hope for the best. So you get the other one in there, you pop it in there, you close your eyes, don't staple your finger. And you just close your eyes, you staple a few more times. No different than hers. See, look at that. Bam. Bang. Bam. Look at hers. Bam. Look at mine. Bam. Looks the same, doesn't it? Okay. Exactly. So the same. now we're going to do the other side. She put these on the. Who gives a crap what side they're on, right? You staple them on the inside, staple them on the outside. <laughs> See, but I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but this is looking a whole lot like hers. And mine's with a stapler. Really? Who's going to complain about it? You don't, have, you don't have Martha Stewart coming over to your house, do you? Boom, <laughs> look it, and here's hers. Do you see a difference? Not really. No offense. Let's put the thing in now. She's like, now here's the test. Now let's see if yours holds no, it. It's gonna hold. All right, you shove one Lucy light to the bottom. It's a little, it's a little snug in the middle. Huh? Huh? Boom. Ah, one more. Man version of this project actually's working out pretty damn good. It's working super well. I'm impressed. See what happens? You know, you get girls, no offense to you, great job. Hers will probably hold up the long haul. But when you get a girl involved and she's like, no, it's got to be sewn and double stitched and triple wh whatever. Dude's like, get a stapler and boom, you've got Chrome's version of the hanging Lucy working. light and it's working. Hey, not bad guys. So if you're not into sewing projects and you don't want to like poke your finger a million times or you live in a household where the lady in your life or the mother in your life won't let you have sharp objects, a stapler <laughs> might be the option for you guys. So thanks for watching this probably first and only edition of, of, Crafty of Crafting Chrome. with Chrome. Crafting with Chrome in the park. <laughs> <laughs> so this video was started because a bunch of you were asking about these Lucy lights. So hopefully this simple project showed you guys how to do it and showed you how to do it in two different ways. The proper the way, way and the man way. And the Natalie way. The man way, right? Because, you know, because some dudes, we just, we just don't know how to. Okay. Thank you. Safety pins work too. Yeah, see, safety pins, another great option. Crazy glue, duct tape. Glue gun, staple gun. <laughs> See, glue gun, staple gun. Who Man, there's like tons of ways gun. to do it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching today's video. And um, yeah, now you guys go home and make yourself a project. If you guys do make these projects, you guys want to do me a favor and hashtag Van City Van Life in it. <laughs> and I'm going to leave her Instagram linked down below in this video. Also, her van tour will be posted at the end of it if you haven't already seen. Natalie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the day today. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later.